Good morning. Today is Monday, January 29th, and this is Woodman A. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please join me for a moment of silence. Please be seated. Here are today's announcements. The social studies academic team will meet today during Power Hour 2 in Mrs. Grider's room. They will also meet on Friday. Congratulations to students on last year's yearbook and newspaper staff. On Friday, students from the two staffs attended the State Journalism Convention, where awards for last year's publications were announced. The school newspaper earned a Hoosier star, making it a number one newspaper in the state. This is the fourth year in a row the newspaper has earned this award. The newspaper's website earned a second place. Graduate Naomi Weaver earned a third place in news photo. Graduate Audrey Pointer earned a first place in portrait. And the yearbook earned a third place in theme development. Juniors and seniors are invited to attend a field trip to Ivy Tech Franklin to learn more about their health care programs. Learn more about different health care career paths and participate in hands-on experiences in nursing, medical assisting, dental assisting, surgical technology, and more. This field trip will be February 9th from 8.45 a.m. to 2.15 p.m. Permission slips are available on the grade level Candace page under announcements and in the guidance office. Congratulations to the Choral Department on sending 46 entries to ISMA Direct Vocal Solo and Ensemble Competition. The World Cultures Club will meet on Friday during Power Hour 1 in Mr. Kuhn's room to begin their exploration of Black History Month. Everyone is welcome. There will be a boys golf call out tomorrow in the main gym during Power Hour 1. Any boy interested in playing should plan to attend. Order your V-Day grams. These will be on sale February 5th through 9th. A flower and chocolate bundle cost $3. Suckers are two for $1. And a bundle with all three costs $5. These will be on sale during the home basketball game February 9th. Thursday is the deadline to contribute to the IMC book drive. Remember, you can turn in gently used and new books that will be redistributed to schools in Indiana that need them. Intramurals have become a highlight of the school year, and here are Woodman AM reporters with more information. With intramural basketball now in full swing, we are going to take a deeper dive into what the season is all about. Here's Woodman AM reporter Carter Chatham with more information about the season. So, Tanner, what's your favorite part about inter playing intramurals? Uh, I think it's just the people that you get to hang out with. Um, it's a group that you normally wouldn't hang out with, and you just get to play a bunch of basketball. Right, and what are you most looking forward to about this season in particular? Uh, I think there's great competition. Uh, it's a lot of guys that I've played for with two or three years. Um, and we're looking forward to win the championship on February 8th. All right, thank you for your time. Now I'm here with Alex Kramer. So Alex, what is the best part about intramural? The best, the best part is being able to play against my friends. It's, it's a nice healthy balance of being competitive and having fun with them. Okay, and how do you think that you and your team matches up against other opponents? So I think our team definitely beats most teams in height. And just with that, I think it comes with a lot of uh, heavy, heavy ability to win. And I hope we can win the chip with it. All right, thank you for your time. Now back to the studio. That concludes today's announcements. I'm Hannah. And I'm Gabe. Have a great day.